we want to solve the matrix equation AX equals B for matrix X given matrix A and matrix B. So to solve the matrix equation AX equals B, we'll be using the inverse of matrix A to isolate matrix X, where once we find A inverse, on the left we'll multiply and we'll have A inverse times AX equals now, because matrix multiplication is not commutative, on the right we must have A inverse times B, not B times A inverse. And then A inverse times A is equal to the identity matrix, I, so we'd have I times X equals A inverse times B. And the identity matrix times matrix X is just X, so we have our solution, matrix X equals A inverse times B. Now let's go ahead and set this up using our given matrices. So we'll have matrix A times matrix X equals matrix B. And now we need to find the inverse of matrix A. Because matrix A is a three by three matrix, there's no shortcut formula to find the inverse. We'll find the inverse of matrix A using an augmented matrix where if A is invertible, meaning it has an inverse, to find A inverse using an augmented matrix, we want to write an augmented matrix where on the left we have matrix A, on the right we have a three by three identity matrix, and then we'll perform row operations to transform this augmented matrix so instead of having A on the left, we would have the three by three identity matrix on the left. Once we do this, the matrix on the right will be A inverse. We won't show all the steps on this due to time, but the initial setup would look like this. We'd have a three by six augmented matrix. Sometimes you'll see a dashed line cutting the matrix in half. Where on the left we'd have matrix A. On the right we'd have a three by three identity matrix. And then from here, we perform row operations to obtain a three by three identity matrix here on the left. When we do that, the identity matrix on the right is transformed into A inverse. So the end result, again we're not going to show all the steps here, we would perform raw operations so that we have a three by three identity matrix on the left. And by doing this, the matrix on the right will be A inverse, which would have a first row of one, negative four, three, a second row of negative one, five, negative three, and a third row of three, negative 17, 10. So again, we started with this augmented matrix where we had matrix A on the left and the identity matrix on the right perform raw operations so that we had the identity matrix on the left and this matrix is now A inverse. So now we're gonna perform multiplication with A inverse on both sides of the equation. On the left we'll have A inverse times A times X So there's A inverse times matrix A, which is here, times matrix X equals, on the right we'll have A inverse, times matrix B. So on the left, remember this is A inverse times A, which is equal to the identity matrix, so we have identity matrix times matrix X equals this product here, which notice how because we have a three by three matrix times a three by one matrix, because the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix, the multiplication is possible, and the result is going to be a three by one matrix. So to find the element in row one, column one, of the product will multiply the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix, which means A sub one comma one is equal to one times negative 37 plus negative four times negative one plus three times 10. So we have negative 37 plus four plus 30, which equals negative three. And now to find the element in row two, column one, we multiply row two of the first matrix and column one of the second matrix. 
So a sub two comma one is equal to negative one times negative 37 plus five times negative one plus negative three times 10. So we have positive 37 plus negative five plus negative 30, which is equal to positive two. And finally, the element in row three column one is obtained by multiplying row three in the first matrix by column one of the second matrix. So we'd have three times negative 37 plus negative 17 times negative one plus 10 times 10. And this is equal to positive six. Well, the identity matrix times x is just equal to the matrix x, and therefore we do have our solution. So our solution is matrix x equals this three by one matrix, or this column matrix. So again, if you do need more help on how to find the inverse of a three by three matrix using an augmented matrix, I do have other videos that show just how to find the inverse of a three by three matrix. I hope you found this helpful.